I actually spoke to Savio Vega on Monday yeah. and he went really in depth with the Brawl for All. And just for me, I just loved the Brawl for All because it was just <laughs> such a it was such a wacky concept. Yeah, it was. And you know, even, even the people who really could fight in real life had like no time, like racked with injuries and no time to prepare. So it was oh. just I I just like to see, see people fight. <laughs> Quite frankly. So what do you remember? Actually, do you remember at the first time? Um was it like a big meeting where you were first introduced to the Brawl for All oh, concept? No, I was uh I remember just being on the road, I got a call from Vince and he said this this is an idea we had and we're asking the guys who want to get into it you know and and you know the thing i look at is that the guys that did it they were the guys with some balls you know i mean it, it takes a lot of balls to get in the ring and really fight somebody you know because of my my past boxing career but you know this was so different than boxing because remember, i've now at this point i've already had five shoulder surgeries five elbow surgeries reconstruction of my knee so it's like all these things that, I, that were different in my life compared to that young boxer I was when I won the golden gloves and all that it was much different you know but realizing that you know these guys can take you down too so I never even got really hit in any of those matches like I never even got hurt or anything or I was one of the lucky ones that didn't, didn't get hurt but I remember at the time the one guy I I just did not get along with you know was Bradshaw and and, and when I say I didn't get it, it, you know, here's the thing. He, I looked at him as a bully. He was he was mean to people and stuff. And 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 before I tell you the story, I want to just say that he is such a, a a great guy now. I mean, what he does for humanity and these kids and in other countries, I, I tell you, I can't say enough great things about him. I, I'm honored to call him a friend now. I mean, two guys that couldn't stand each other are, we both uh, have compassion for other people. We have both help a lot of people. So now get back to the story when I did hate him <laughs> and he hated me because i tell you something, when we wrestle each other on the road and he'd give me a power bomb, he would like, it was almost like he's put me through the, through the mat, through the ring, through the wood, through it. I mean, he hurt me or would try to hurt me, you know, and I was always a tough guy, you know, so I was not afraid, but when I found out I got to fight him in the brawl for all, I was really excited, like, and and they even, they even wanted me to fight somebody different because they said that, you know, um, uh, I can't remember the whole storyline, but it was something I go, no, 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 I want to fight Bradshaw, you know, and we, we had a, our match, it went, it went three rounds, but it went to a draw, so, you know, they're taking the gloves off. And all of a sudden, it's like one more round. It's like, oh, God, here we go again. And uh, they they gave him the decision. You know, I thought I wanted, but they gave him the decision. And uh, but it's all water under the bridge now, man. But it was a it was a crazy concept. I couldn't believe how many guys got seriously hurt doing it. So looking back, it probably was not the greatest idea that they came up with. And and it really hurts the product because you know, wrestling being professional wrestling, you know, there's storylines and stuff this way. You, everybody looked kind of just wild and crazy and then we weren't even sure is this real or is this, you know, planned or what, you know? But uh, it's, it's actually weird. I I brought up Bradshaw. I didn't realize that you didn't like him or anything. All I know is when I watched it maybe a couple of years ago, the entire Brawl for All, on the face off before you're about to fight, he's boring a hole through you and you're doing the same back. And I was sort of... I was reading between the lines thinking, hmm, these guys do not get along in real life. And apparently that was true. Yeah, I, I had no fear and he had no fear. So it was one of those two, two guys just, man, it was like, it, it was, you know what? It's funny because when you dislike someone so much, and that, first of all, I want to say that there's not a person that's planned I hate now, okay? I've learned so much from, from being anger or bitter in life, you know? And to become friends with someone that you dislike so much it makes your friendship that much stronger and, and i just can't say enough good things about him and what he does with 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 young people today because i do mm -hmm. it too and and so i i got that heart i know he does and we had our moment where we didn't like each other but now it's it's all uh it's all good so i know it was like a curtain sellout in the back for a lot of the matches who did you cheer harder for when they got dropped was it bradshaw in the finals or was it dr death steve williams uh, Were you more like, I, yes? I really like Dr. Death. He was a good guy, you know. I mean, you know, the, the, the things about um, Steve was that, you know, we, we used to sit up in the, before the matches, we'd sit up in the stand sometimes just talk about life. And he always talked about his family. So I always looked into like, of all his accomplishments and stuff, he never kind of bragged about himself. He would talk about his family and things he got uh, going on in the farm or whatever it was, you know. And um, I don't know, just a, I really took a liking to him. And of course, not having a liking at that time toward Bradshaw, you know, I couldn't be happier to see him get, you know, iced. 
No, <laughs> fair enough. I, I, I bring it up specifically because uh, Savio told me that everyone was, uh, because Jim Ross had been telling everyone that this is the guy who's going to beat you all. This is going to yeah, be the guy who beats you all. That was kind of unfair for Steve because, mm. you know, he was built up so much that, um, you know, everybody thought he was going to, you know, run through everyone. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. And he got hurt pretty bad, too. I mean, it really ended his career. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Enough is enough! Moody Poo Kenny! I had him writhing in pain from my sharpshoot. Rocky! Rocky! I am not a nugget! Stick him straight up, your candy ass! I kicked your leg out of your leg. The rock has come back! 